Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dove's Kingdom. This is Jacob. In today's tutorial, we're going to introduce Code Show 2501, which was released by Astro AI a few days ago. And in this video, we're going to show you how to build it with the continued app on Visual Studio. So that being said, let's get started. So first thing first, you have to set up Visual Studio if you uh, don't have it on local. But you do have it on local, you don't have to worry about it uh, in this demo. Uh, we built it on Kaggle, so uh, we built with the Coder account. We have a tutorial for that. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so after you set up everything on Kaggle, so you should be able to get to the Visual Studio by version like this. So if you have Visual Studio, uh, just go to these uh, extensions and install Continue Dev. So uh, we're already installed, so you can see um, it works with Coastal and Cloud and more. Uh, to use Coastal, uh, it's completely free. Um, so all you have to do is go to the uh, continual dev section, uh, the portal, and basically select best. Select the uh, click here because the default is cloud. So um, click here and then also select provider as Mistral, model as Coastal, and put your API key. So to get API key, go to the Mistral AS web console and go to the Coastal section. Don't go to the API keys. Those are for regular API endpoints. Uh, Call show is probably at preview, so uh, it's completely free. Just uh, go to this section and copy the key. That's it. So let's go back to Visual Studio. Um, so basically, put your key here. Click Connect. Already connected. So uh, basically, you can see that it's Call show. So everything is set up. You can start testing. There are two parts of this um, Call show. Uh, one is to uh, chat with the code so it's very similar to Ader. Uh, you can actually chat with the code and also the other feature is edit the file so like client all right so i did tutorials on uh, client and Ader, uh in this channel uh for many videos so feel free to check it out as well um so basically continue dev call show is very similar to Ader, but has a feeling or user experience of a client so very cool. Uh, let's continue with the demo. So after uh, you set up everything, uh, let's create a file called test.py. So you can see this test.py is created under Kaggle working folder. So you can see the Kaggle working folder. Um, and we're gonna just try to create something um, very simple. Okay, uh, let's go to continue dev and to chat. Let's say create a AI company landing page uh, with HTML, CSS, and JS. All right, so basically this will um, start chat with the uh, code show. It won't create uh, the file or, or update the file like we see in here. Uh, but if you want to actually add everything in the file, so we have to uh, basically uh, use a shortcut uh, so if you want to uh, see how the shortcut works, go to continue dev, and then there's how to use it to add it or create a file. So basically, you have to use the command line plus i. All right. So that's for uh, Mac and also the Windows version. Uh, so let's go back to Visual Studio Web. Uh, basically, let's uh, just um, open that up so you can see. Basically, right now it's inserting or editing this test UI. So Let's paste the prompt, right? So this will actually create the file and also add the lines to the file. So instead of chatting, it will add the lines to the file. So it's very similar to uh, client, right? So let's hit enter. Um, and you can see it start working, right? So and it's actually uh, calling this uh, code show API. So you can see it's very fast as well. Very cool. So after everything's completed, you can click accept. So this is like uh, how client works, right? Uh, accept. Let's copy paste it. Uh, let's paste to this uh, portal. So that actually works very well. So you can see this page is very nice. So let's go back to uh, the visual web. So once the file is created, let's chat with the file, right? Let's say, let's still um, do a 
uh, edit. So let's uh, make this file. Make this this um, file or make the uh, code code cleaner and uh, add more comments. Let's hit enter again. It started refactoring and basically I uh, added more comments to it. And also um, you have to also click accept. So basically it will update the file, right? Very nice. Let's copy paste again. Let's paste this. Um, you can see that the page is still same, but added more comments, which is nice. And that's how we actually uh, create a file, added a file, and also make more changes to it. You can continue to check with the file. Um, and then you will get more updates. So if you want to, let's say, if you want to uh, chat with a file, instead of uh, create a file or update it, just check a specific part of the file. Uh, for example, let's create another file, which is test2.py. Okay, and let's copy paste some of the code from Grok. And we just say, uh, do a very simple example. Let's copy and paste the code. So for this code, Right, I want to just um, basically chat with it. Right, I don't want to uh, create a file because it's already created, so I want to chat with it. So, to do that, uh, you can use shortcut or do this uh, UI way. Right, just click the uh, open chat. So, let's uh, copy uh, basically just uh, select everything and click continue and also open chat. You can use shortcut like uh, control plus L. But uh, let's do a UI way, right? You click continue dev and click the open chat. So then you can chat with it, right? So let's say, uh, can you add more comments? Or can you add a readme, right? Let's say, can you add a readme to the file? Right, because we actually we're chatting, so you can see that it's not added to the file. So if you want to add everything to the uh, top of the file, do the same thing as we just did, and do the edit mode. Um, do the same thing, right? Can you add a readme to the top of the file? Let's hit enter. So you can see, start adding the README section, which is super nice. Right, so we're actually, um, basically saying um, this is um, something that they try to add a README, but not exactly the code. And so you can actually uh, just reject the code, reject the change, right, and just say add more comments to the file. Add more comments to the uh, to the file. Hit enter. So you can see start adding more comments, which is super nice. So yeah, that's how you actually um, use Coast Show with the Continuum Gap on Visual Studio. So hopefully this is helpful. And if you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.